there's people in the comments being like, this is gonna go viral. I'm just like, why are these people playing with me? It's not gonna go viral. And then it did. My younger siblings, like, they're like, oh, my sister's famous. <laughs> like, you know, like. My name is Kiara Wilson and I am located in Central Texas. I discovered TikTok back in 2019. My friends like brought it up as like a joke and I was just like, you know, I'm not sure, should I get on it? And then I did one day, I fell in love with the app, literally got addicted. My first TikTok, I was just like, okay, should I do this? And the dance was just so catchy. And that's basically how I got started. I was just like, I love to dance, so. Why not try this out and post it and see if I gain any followers off of it? I don't even think I even got a view. <laughs> that day that I created The Savage, I just had heard an album from Meg and I'm like, ooh, I like this song on here. Like, I think I wanna do something with it. So I did it and I posted it and it went crazy. I did not think to like change my outfit. Like everybody roasts me about my outfit all the time. Um, I didn't think to do good lighting, like none of that. I literally just, it was one in post. What drew me to Savage was definitely the lyrics. That chorus part that I picked, it was such a good saying. Classy, you're bougie sometimes, ratchet sometimes, you know. It just was perfect. The first day I posted it, it didn't really like get as much engagement, literally at all. But of course I'm gonna try again. I kept adding more videos. So I did like a day one doing the dance until it goes viral. And then the next day I did a day two till it goes viral. And day two was actually the day that it did blow up. Two days after, that's when Meg had posted it. I seen it in my DM, somebody's like, Meg posted you and I'm just like, why would she post me? That just doesn't make sense. Like, what did I do? And oh my gosh, that was the most shocking day of my life. I was so excited and I was so happy. After Savage went viral, I started to get tons of interviews back to back. Of course, campaigns came in, uh, promos, working with other artists as well. The best opportunity that came with Savage was definitely being able to copyright it. That was major because actually at the beginning of my journey with Savage, me and my family tried so, so hard to get Savage copyrighted because of how many like news outlets and TV shows were using it. So then like when they reached out to me and said they, they could do that, like with Jaquil and Logitech, I literally was like, no way. Like, are you serious? That was definitely and still is the best experience. When I saw people doing the Savage dance and not crediting me, it was just like, you know, kind of like a like a stab in the back, you know? Because it's like you put all this hard work into creating something and you don't get the credit for it. It is it is unfair. Dancers and choreographers do spend a lot of time making up these things for people to enjoy. So it means a lot to a dancer and a choreographer when you guys do credit us for the work that we create. My name is Kiara Wilson and that is how I became a trend. Make sure to follow me at kiki.genasia.